it's Christmas. I cannot believe it is Christmas. I am so tired. This is the actual hair that I slept with. This is exactly how I woke up. I pretty much just woke up and I sound like this. I still sound like a man. I'm gonna make some coffee, which I haven't had coffee in a really long time. I was like trying not to drink it. I'm just trying to drink like a bunch of water with a side of a bunch of soda because I love soda so much and I'm still doing that. Um, but I tried to like stop a lot of coffee. This is Oatmeal's first Christmas. Oh my God. I'm really, really excited. This little girl, she's such a cutie. She's sitting back there waiting for food because she's addicted to food. But I'm really excited it's your first Christmas. I cannot believe Yellow's not here. I'm already gonna cry. That's really cool. It's our first Christmas without Savannah. It's like way harder than anybody would ever think. Like. I'm just gonna be open and honest with you. It is so unbelievably hard and I think it's way harder than I even think because I kind of just try to ignore it. But if I were to full blown think about it, I would just have a complete breakdown. So it's actually a really emotional process being without your dog for the first time on like a really special day because I try and make the dog's days special because we go to so many different places and um, I try to give them like really good treats and spend the morning with them because it's so sad thinking about them being alone and I know that they don't know it but I know it and it's really sad but I guess I'll show you guys something real quick now that we're talking about her I'll show it to you real quick I gave Mike a present the day before Christmas Eve and I never do that I am not the type to do that it does oh, oh, mm -mm. I don't do things early it, I because I like the anticipation of looking forward to giving gifts and stuff but I wanted to give him this one because I really thought it out. This is like one of his big ticket items. And um, I didn't want to like ruin the mood of Christmas because I have another big ticket item that was so difficult to get. But I got it and I'm really excited about it. I'm so excited to give it to him. And uh, I didn't know like which one would I give first if I gave the really exciting one first and then this Savannah one next. Like it would just be sad and everything. I wanted it just to be between me and him, real special. And uh, we just, you know, had a moment where it was just him and I. And uh, anyways, I follow this girl on TikTok. I saw her on my For You page and she does this incredible work with wool and she recreates animals for people that have passed on and it was just beautiful work. And I was like, should I do this? Cause Mike's not really into this type of stuff. He's not into like sad things. He likes to avoid them, which is totally understandable. But I thought like it's so special. Savannah deserves it. We have a whole shrine in our living room of her. I know I'm talking so much and so many people don't like it. But I have to explain every single detail. And it's Christmas so I'm allowed to do whatever I want. So I got this done of Savannah. Um, I think it took her over 30 hours to make this. And it is so beautiful. I'm going to start bawling my eyes out. This is terrible. Anyways. I'm gonna get off that subject. I just want to show you guys because it's really pretty. She's just so pretty and I can't believe she's not here with us. But I'm making the Christmas vlog sad. I'm so sorry. All right, so we're making breakfast for the girls. So I have it all prepared. I have a half a scoop of their dry dog food. I added some water to it. I did a can of Beneful and then I added a strip of bacon to each of their bowls and a half a sausage patty to each of their bowls to make it nice and special for them. So they're gonna have some breakfast and then I have half of a sausage patty left over and I'm just gonna hand feed that to them so they know like this is a full on treat. So I'm gonna feed oatmeal first and then we're gonna go back and give Piglet hers because she's still in bed. So she's literally gonna get breakfast in bed because she's so spoiled. Little oatmeal's having her Christmas morning breakfast. So Piglet's gonna have breakfast by the Christmas tree. She came out from bed because she smelled this, so I don't blame you, little girl. That's super fancy, Piglet. There's bacon and sausage in there. If you did not see our last vlog, I think it was, Yellow is staying with Mike's mom. Um, she couldn't come home this week because her dog is, like, sick. There was a little emergency. Um, so she is staying, he is staying with her. And then they might be up maybe around New Year's or something. So he will be back and you guys will be able to see him. But he's just not home for Christmas. So that's why he's not here. But he is doing so good, you guys. He's super healthy, doing so great. And we just can't believe it, honestly. But um, he's doing really great. So that's awesome. That's all that matters. The girls are playing fetch and it's absolutely adorable. You want to show them how good you are at playing fetch? Oh, Oatmeal brought a new toy into the mix. <laughs> We're gonna tuck them out so they can take a nap while we go over to my mom's. Get it! <laughs> Merry Christmas! Howdy, Merry Christmas! We are heading over to my mom's. 
We got all the presents loaded up. There's a bunch in the trunk. I love my Grinch pajamas. I love the Grinch. Anything Grinch is like my fave. I love them so much. I think they're super, super cute. We're here. Merry yes. Christmas. Woo! Merry Christmas, everyone. Here's my mom's breakfast casserole. I wish you guys could eat this right now because it's so good. I can't wait to eat it. So we're home, it was a very successful morning. My mom gets us huge stockings that are like the size of my whole entire body and she stuffs it with all sorts of stuff for the house. And she gave us this mac and cheese, which I love the flame and hot kind. I literally have some right here. I think it's so good. It goes either way, some people hate it and then others love it. <laughs> but I'm gonna try the bold and cheesy as a little snack cause we're not gonna go over to my dad's for like two to three more hours. Um, so I'm making this real quick just for a little snack and to try it and I'm really really excited My grandma got this rug for the girls to go on. This is one of the softest things I've ever felt I wish you guys could feel it, but the girls love it. Hey cutie girl So the mac and cheese was really good. Piggy had a bite. She loved it. So that was a great snack Where are you going? You don't like the camera So we're gonna open up their stockings right now And then we're gonna head over to my dad's for his Christmas night home they are playing home alone on the TV which they have played so much this past December like they overplay it a little bit now I love both of them a lot but they definitely play it a lot a lot Mike's sister-in-law got me this scarf I don't know, maybe I showed you guys on the way over but it's so cute it has pockets I love it so much so we are home and now Mike and I are gonna do our gift exchange we always wait until the night whenever everything's done so we can just relax and just have time together and it's not like stressful or rush or anything and we also have gifts for Bobby and Trusta so they're gonna come over and we're gonna open up gifts together we had a great great day oh Mills ready to have fun she's so happy that we're home so we will great see you guys in the next upload I hope you all had a great Christmas great holidays yeah, great. I hope you all had a great time with your family yeah so we'll see you guys in the next vlog bye